Okay, me and Carter's out here in the shed, and uh, I'm gonna try to make my first handle. I've never made one before. I've been wanting to do one for a while, so I have this. Uh, it's pretty heavy piece of white oak here that I get from that side's not too good, but the other side looks better. It's not gonna be that long anyway, and you can see the crack in it already. So I'm gonna try to split it uh, maybe down the middle. I don't know. It should be. It should still be plenty long enough doing that. So I'm gonna split down the middle. I should be able to get two handles out of this. It's not very long though. Let's see how long it is actually. I see it's about 33 and a half inches. I'll get you in closer over here and kind of show you what I've got going on. Getting a little closer so you can see kind of what I've got going on. Plan to have a wood stove in here before too long, so that'll make things a lot better. But uh, here's here's some axe heads too. I've got them. I'll show you those actually. But, but anyways, I don't know this one. It's probably just a cheap head, but this this I'm gonna make a little hatchet handle for, and just use this as, as a little hatchet. I, I think it's a hatchet head, anyways. But it's a. Uh, Powercraft is the brand on it. And so uh, I'm going to make a little hatchet out of that one. It's not in too bad a shape, as you can see. But as you can see right there, it says, uh, well, maybe you can. Anyways, Powercraft is what it says. Here's another one. A man actually told me, a man from the channel said, these are supposed to be pretty good axes. This is a double bit. And it's a... Evansville Good Service Axe. There's the head on it. Profile. I have split. Well, actually, I actually haven't split with this one. I split with one similar. This don't look like the greatest splitter, honestly. It looks to me like it would get stuck. Definitely looks like more of a chopper. I may use this to fell trees with. From what I read, that's what they mainly used double bits for. And is uh, they'd have one side that was very sharp. And then the other side that was somewhat, somewhat dull for lemon and stuff. And uh, maybe not dull, but not as sharp as the other side. And the very sharp side, I think they used to fell the trees with. Here's an old mall head. I, I never use malls really, but I want I do want to redo this. Has a little bit of pitting right there. Notice that or not. You can tell somebody's banged on this with something over the years. Of course, it's a mall. Look at that. That's a splitter for sure. <laughs> Look at the difference between that and let's say this double bit here. The difference in the profile. Oh, wow. Yeah. That difference. Huge difference. So, I hardly use malls, but I mean, I don't mind using them. I just like hitting angles. And an axe is better, but. I don't know how heavy that is. I guess that's probably eight pounds. Really doesn't feel that heavy, but. Small. And then you've seen this one before, if you've seen the channel. It's a, uh, I think it's HC Herald. I actually polished this one up before and put some kind of, cheap maple handle on it. As you can see, the wood there even, just very weak. It didn't last me long at all. One day, not even a day. First day I used it, it broke. But uh, somebody told me too, the handles I was buying from the place I was getting them from looked like they might've been defects. And I'm thinking now that they were, because pretty much all of them I've got from there have been trouble. And that's part of why I'm gonna get into making my own handles. Not only that, I think it'll be fun. And I got access to all kinds of different wood. So I figured, uh, why not? This axe head, old cheap cobalt. I love the axe head, actually. The handle was just awful. So I'll be rehanging it. But what I'm gonna do right now is try to split this down the middle using this axe.
go. Two pieces of white oak. Okay. Now here's, see this here doesn't look as good down at the bottom. Not there. And there's the top, so. As you can see. You got two separate pieces from it. So, I don't have any templates. So what I was gonna do was use this cobalt one, but I'm gonna have to do something different a little. May be able to, cause I do like it, it's just too, I may use the curve of that cobalt. As you can see, the cobalt's a little longer maybe. It's pretty close, but it's a little longer. So what I'm going to do then is uh, trace some right there, right here. Or I'm going to use this curve, and uh, whenever I thin it out, I'm just going to make it a little bit thinner than that one. And I'm going to try to stay away from that end, some of the wood, because let's go ahead and measure now that we've got that. The square. Uh oh. Watch out. That's not going to be completely accurate either because this isn't completely square, the line I'm going off of. So, as I said, this is for me is experimental as well. So, keep that in mind. Mm. Or don't. start the handle right about the bottom of that. kind of show you what I came up with there. First time doing this, like I said. So where's the lid of this? Well, first time doing this, so. Yes, and here after I clean this building up. All right, clerk. Okay, I'm gonna show you what I did. So what I did, there's where I started with the handle, came on down. And where this is gonna be shorter than that one, I kind of just slid the handle on down and then kind of continued from, from where I slid it down with the shoulder. And I already had a mark here and a mark down here. So that from there, from that mark to this mark is 32 inches. So that's what I wanted to end it at. And so that's kind of what I came up with right there. I know you can't see that very well, but uh, this is gonna be the hard part doing Doing the rest. Okay, this may not be the best idea. I'm gonna try to cut this with a chainsaw in my shed at night time. my line there see I'm just trying to get in closer to my mark so I don't have so much material to take off it actually did pretty well sure enough it didn't ah, now look that took a that actually whittled it down quite a bit there Good. There's my marks there. Did you see them? Show you as I go up. Look how close it got. Oh, wow. 
Oh, at one point, close. right here. Oh my goodness! It's right near the line, but that it actually right when it, right when it got there, it shifted off and went to the side. So that worked wow. out very good. That was. Crazy. You see, I still have my full template, and now I have a little, far less to shave off of it. Okay. Wow. Where you go? Perfect girl. Where you go? Where you go? Yeah, Gramp. She's a good girl. She's a good girl. She's a good girl. She's a good girl. Yes, sir. That's actually working pretty well. I'm actually pretty surprised with how well that's working. A machete to carve out an ax. I said this is my first time, so you probably can't even see this ax line here. Well, and somewhat. So as you can see, there's my ax handle. Hey, this, I'm, I'm impressed. There's a guy on there though. Um, I'll try to think of his channel later on and add it in. A man, he makes some beautiful ax handles. I'll put that guy's, he makes some unique looking handles. Probably a lot of people have already seen the guy that I'm talking about. He's not the only one, the vintage axe hoarder. He makes some beautiful handles as well. Those guys have inspired me really. That and uh, just uh, wanting another hand, wanting a good handle, honestly. Oh man, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty happy with this. Well, aren't gonna like this part. I've got a grinding disc now. So the next day. You can see that's really smoothing that side down. It's starting to look like something now. I love those grinders for, for this kind of stuff.
up in here now, but big dump. It looked like something though. Just gonna have to make it straight somehow. Try to figure out how to take that curve out and keep it as straight as I can. I know it ain't the prettiest thing first time, but it's coming along. Well, it's starting to look like something a little bit. Of course, I'm not done with it. I've still got more to do, but it really needs to go deeper. But as you can see, it's starting to look like something now from a piece of oak. So, first time ever doing it. I mean, it's a pretty exciting process, really. Yeah. it down a little see if that helps these grinders too the grinders too because they can get you or somewhere from one or was i cut okay there it is finger there see i think they hit the bone when i got it with that grinder that day i slung it down and it just kept spinning i was trying to modify a chainsaw bar uh, they kick back. That's what you really got to watch for is when you're using them on metal, but they can kick back on uh, wood too. Uh, let's try to get this down a little. I've made Make a wedge out of this. This is the oak as well. I'll make it a little bigger to to make up for some of this lost material. To sand it down still but there's I made the wedge bigger so it make up for the lack of the size up here you know where you drive the wedge all of this expanding so I made it a pretty big wedge and that seems to worked pretty good actually I'm gonna sand all that down and this is the only thing I don't like well the main thing I won't say the only thing the main thing is I took off most of the shoulder here somewhat of a shoulder there but not a lot 
So that's the next process is sanding it. I forgot the axe on. Sanding it. And, uh, once I get it sanded, I'll probably put some sort of oil on the handle too. That pretty thin, thinner than I would have preferred. It's oak, so it's solid, but I just made it, I made it pretty thin. It feels better in the hands than that thick one that I had, the cobalt one. Hands. Do some splitting with it, try to. I don't know how well it'll hold up. I just think I made it too thin, honestly. I just made it too thin. That's the only thing. Feels good in the hands. It does. What's the thing down forward? That just made it too thin. Look at the head, how big it is to the handle. I'm pretty satisfied, honestly, but I could use some sanding and stuff. I'm done, though, for, for the day with it, I believe. Been working on this thing for hours. White oak, so it's tough. I just, I just think it's too. Uh, it's, uh, look at that head. H.C. Harold. I used a huge wedge to fill that in. Gaffing pretty good though. Bottom here you can see. I used a piece to fill in there too. The back it had had sort of a shoulder there so it filled in itself. Like as I said, it needs a little bit of sanding and it's uh just just a little thin. Scary sharp. I accident, accidentally touched it when I was going past it. I barely my hand and it skinned my hand. It literally took some of the layer of the skin off. But that's awesome though, from a piece of a log to that. I wish I wouldn't have went crazy with the grinding. That's it up here you know I wish I would have let it widen as it come up this way but uh and maybe do a little splitting with it later I'm going to split a piece now just for fun
on it. And that may be going the way that you don't want it to go. Somebody else would know. But that's my first hand oil. And honestly, it was fun. And now I know next time just to leave it a little thicker. But other than that, I don't think that's too bad. I just made it thin, too thin. Didn't have the greatest of tools to do it with. But uh, don't want to make excuses either, just inexperiences. Really wish I would have left up here about that, out to that much thicker. And then kind of curved in and left all this a little thicker all the way down. But honestly, I chopped with it and split with it a little bit. It felt good. This feels so good to swing because this is so much shorter than the Fisker's. Fisker's 36 inches, so here you go. Yeah. I love that about it. I love that about the Fisker's. 30 inches. About at 30 inches is what this axe is. So that's six inches shorter than the fish screw. So, as you can see, though, first time ever doing it, it's white oak handle. I plan to do it a lot more. I plan to do some wedges too. I plan to do my own my own handles, honestly, because I want I want to have a lot of axes in here. And honestly, it does, especially it being that small. You can pick the wood up with it and then sling it where you want to take it to. <laughs> We've got dust everywhere, and I had just cleaned this building out too dust all over the place now and i love that grinder though i just bought that the other day used from a guy that's a great grinder right there i really like it they walk though of course is they make good tools but i'm pretty happy with it honestly little white oak candle can't wait to say it starts wood uh-huh